things and a little finishing touches to this painting I started and posted the other day. I'm going to uh, just put some final tweaks into it. Some things didn't go exactly as planned, such as the uh, liquid masking, which I used for the watercolor painting part. Um, I put too much uh, dish soap in my brush, and it was very hard to get it off, as the part one video shows you that. So I kind of went in after I got it off. It was very wet and mushy, and after I got it off, I kind of went in with watercolor and gouache and put some highlights in um, to get this to look better. And right now all I'm doing is just getting ready to throw a little more highlight around this this lamp, which um, should pretty much finish the glow. Uh, I know that the outer part here has a yellow. I've got this uh, nice Awada pot here for taking away all the overspray. It's really good. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little yellow and just kind of let it be the outer part. There's a glow that's test sprayed here. There we go. All right, I'm going to turn the outer part more yellow out there. That's what the original picture was doing. Gives it a kind of a eerie storm kind of night. This this storm was really cool that came you know through. Uh, at, it was daytime and the storm came through and the street lights came on as I said, and uh, it really was out of nowhere. It was really cool looking. Um, okay, I'm gonna one second here. I'm gonna put in some. Uh, I think I want some magenta. I'm using Createx. Um, illustration colors. I really love them. Again, this is a watercolor painting that I airbrushed on top of just to change it up and show you that you can paint, you know, without, you can paint on an, any kind of a painting that you feel like that you want to add airbrush to. I mean, I painted on acrylic paintings where you do the basic uh, underpainting and then you go in and shade and a lot of that can be enhanced with the airbrush and all I was doing with this was just trying to show the same kind of a thought but obviously watercolor paper. Next time I try something like this uh, I'm going to use the hot pressed, Arches hot pressed watercolor paper because it's, so, it's just very smooth very nice for the airbrush. This has uh, a lot of, uh, it's the thicker paper, it's the 140 pound cold press. And I'm spraying some of this violet into, or magenta rather, right into the blue area. Give it a little more intensity and then I will go into another color I think in the end there, maybe the vi blue violet or something. You just get this bring it down onto the top of the clouds and just spray over everything because it's not hurting there's a, there's kind of a reddish glow right here anyway so that works out good all right um let's see switching colors again like i said i'm just trying to just tweak this i guess a little bit so what i'll do too with the airbrush uh for my own quick cleaning out the color cup. Sorry if we're going back and forth to this spray. Sometimes I'll use, a, I mean not sometimes, I use the Q-tip to get that real heavy color out. That's, uh, even after you spray it, it doesn't come out unless you do a major cleaning or something. So this is kind of quick to me. Make I usually, you know, wet it and then I don't usually have any problems with the fuzzies or anything, but I want to just get that cleaner. Okay. Um, so what we what we got here too is a little bit back to the yellow, bouncing around here a bit. 
Um, okay, right around the glow where I did the yellow, there's also a little more yellow intensity right there. And I forgot to put that in. Kind of right by the light, right there at the bottom. Just gives it more, more realism, a little more yellow on that. All right, so. Empty that out. And it's just gonna be a short little video. I'm almost done here. I just wanna do one more thing with uh, kind of a stormy looking bottom color here, the blue violet. And I'm gonna kinda just right out of the bottle. I'm not doing any mixing. This is a loose style. I like very uh, realistic paintings, but I'm having fun with this one. Deepening that. The darker I go with that, and there's white tape, uh, which I use for watercolor, uh, you know, watercolor paintings. Being very careful, just to freehand in. I can even spray right over the pole that comes out because it had a blue kind of cast to it. And bring some of that down over the, the violet, knocking some of that purple into a just a nighttime color. And then I'm gonna go in here at the base of the clouds and kind of get a little sectional areas that are deeper, stormier looking. And using my memory right now because my picture is actually on the cell phone which I'm using to you know film this. And I want more blue so I'm going to just cast a little more blue violet over the clouds and see how that goes here with it. Knocking it back a little bit more into a nighttime look. Right, I'm going to just probably call this painting here because you can really overwork things. It's just a little project I wanted to do. And uh, I hope you get something out of these videos. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. And I will be definitely making some new ones very soon. Uh, back to my more realistic stuff that I use for the clay board. So thanks again for checking it out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see these videos, um, you know, come up in your, on your uh, phone or whatever you're using. And uh, again, I thank you and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.